guys, welcome back. So today I am here with my Vintage Chic Sense haul from the November restock. I had originally gone in to buy one thing. And I said that was it. And I did good for two and a half days. Then I realized just how much was still on the site. And I should know better because she's starting to pour more quantities. Like it used to be the good things were gone within like 10 minutes at most. And when I'm finding good things still on the site two and a half days later, I'm like, eh, well, okay. So, um, I had, I placed a one order and I thought, okay, I'm done. That was on Thursday on restock day. And then Saturday night I went looking on the website and I should never do that because I always find stuff I want. But there was one thing I really wanted. I thought for sure was going to be gone. I didn't even look on Friday when I placed the first order to see if it was still there. And it was. So I grabbed that. Then on Sunday, I believe, I grabbed, I, I placed a third order. So I am the queen of multiple orders and I really shouldn't because I'm paying $10 a pot for orders. I really should be calm, cool, and collected, get everything at once and save some money. But clearly I'm stupid. So y'all don't have to tell me. So I got, um, the first order, I got a sample in Tally Me Banana. And this one I was really excited to get because it sounds so good. It's raspberry guava banana daiquiri. This is going to be so good in the summer. It's really nice. I was hoping it was more of a fruity banana than a candy banana. And it, it, it tastes, or it tastes, good God. It's Monday, y'all. Um, it smells more like a fruity banana than a candy banana, which is really good. So the thing I went in for was Cafe Reggio. And I've already melted some of this and it's already been in my empties for the week. So y'all have already seen I had it. Um, I could not wait. I have, I'd been without it for a few months and it would drive me batty. And I'm really upset that I only got one bag. I really should have gotten two. So next time she puts that up, I'm going to have to get more. So the second order I placed was, um, I got the sample in the Stanley Hotel and it's Harvest Vanilla Bean Noel. And this smells really, really, really good. This is one I'd know all year long. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to that. And this order was my very first sampler that I purchased from Kirby. And it is the Margot's Ballerina Cloud Sampler. I'm going to put them all back in this bag and store it because it's going to be easy storage. So there's 12 roses, all in different Margot blends. For the first time ever, there's not one I don't like. There's not even one I'm iffy on. So the first one is Margot's Ballerina Clouds, and it's Coconut Marshmallow Cream Pie. And it's this two-toned, it's white on the top and kind of like a pinkish on the bottom. And this smells so, so good. I love coconut cream pie blends. So there's that. Um, these are in no particular order. I'm just going, going as I go. Um, this one's two-toned brown and pink, and this one is Margot's Milk Glass which is coconut marshmallow cream pie with wild berry cake batter sugar milk. And this one, I was not sure about because I don't like milk glass by itself, but I think it's going to be okay blended with the Margot. So I'm going to be good on that one, I think. The next one is Margot's Yellow Submarine, and it's yellow and pink, and it's the coconut marshmallow cream pie and pineapple birthday cake. And you get that pineapple really strongly. And it is really good mixed with that coconut. This one was probably my favorite. It's Cookie Monster Love Margot. And it's blue and white. And it is coconut marshmallow cream pie. Sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, sugar milk, buttercream frosting. I love Cookie Monster blends. So I was excited to find that. Next, we have Margot's Lavender Supreme, and it's purple and orange. And it is coconut marshmallow cream pie and lavender orange smoothie. And I think I've gotten this before in a de-stash, and I loved it. And I love Imogene's Lavender Supreme, so Margot's Lavender Supreme is going to be good. And it's funny because I even, I've got Imogene's Lavender Supreme and Margot's Pearls as a loaf. And that blend is so good together, too. The next one is Margot's Orange Sherbet, and it's purplish, and I guess that's orange. And it's the Coconut Marshmallow Cream Pie and Orange Sherbet. 
And I've discovered I love orange sherbet in wax. Oh, God, that's so good. I could just sit here and smell these all day, so I better stop. Next is Margot's Pearls, which is looks like brownish, pinkish, and purple, which is coconut marshmallow cream pie and lavender marshmallow vanilla. And that is so good. Next is Margot's Great Pumpkin. This one I'm going to save for next fall. It's hot pink and orange. Coconut marshmallow cream pie, pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting. So this one I will hold on to till about probably next, like October, September, October. Next is Margot's Cafe. It's pink and purple. And it is coconut marshmallow cream pie, fresh picked strawberries. And you really get the strawberry. And Kirby strawberry is so good. I love her strawberry. I am really, really addicted to her strawberry. Next is Jackie O and Margot, and I love Jackie O blends, and it's white and pink. And it's a marshmallow cream, coconut marshmallow cream pie and marshmallow birthday cake Noel. So you put Jackie O and Margot together, and I'm a happy camper. The next one is To Catch Margot, and this is my other favorite, and it's kind of brownish and blue. And it's the coconut marshmallow cream pie and peppermint Noel cotton candy. I love To Catch a Thief. And then you add that Margot blend, and it is really good. And the last one is Pillow Talk with Margot, and it's kind of like brownish and pink. And it's coconut marshmallow cream pie, sweet lavender, fluffy white cake, whipped cream, and strawberries. I love Pillow Talk. I've got some plain Pillow Talk, and I've got some Pillow Talk blends. And this is really good, too. So that was probably the best sampler I could have ever came up with. Um... If, if the next time she puts a Jackie O sampler, I'd be in heaven if I could grab that. So I was so shocked that that was still on the website. Absolutely shocked. Like two and a half days later. Like she opened at 9 a.m. Uh, Central Time on Thursday. And this I ordered this like 8 at night on Saturday. So it was full two and a half days. I was shocked. So then I went back in for the third order. And I got a sample in White Witch. And it is Fresh Rain Bonfire and Crunchy Leaves. And this is so good. I'm going to need need some of this for next fall. It smells so good. So I had gotten um, a four pack since it was still on the website. And it's Rosemary's Baby, which is Lavender Mint. And there's two purple coins and two green coins. And this smells so good. Mmm so soothing i love coins i am very i don't want to say addicted but i very much love these four packs they stack very nicely in my drawer because like i can stand a bunch of them up and they stack so nicely i really like the coins and then i had gotten a loaf duo the second loaf in it i actually traded because it was too heavy on the zucchini so i had gotten the fred and wilma duo it was plain fred and wilma and fred and wilma zucchini so what i did was i listed the fred and wilma zucchini one for trade i didn't want money for it i just wanted to trade and um one of my wax friends is trading with me she is um sending me some things for my iso in trade for this but this one i'm keeping because it's so good it's fruity pebbles rice krispie treats and gooey marshmallow i love fred and wilma blends so i was so excited to grab this loaf up um I have, this is my second loaf, and I have another one on a way that I had bought in a D-stash. So that makes three loaves. I've cut up several loaves. I had like three or four I cut up that are in the that are in my, my uh, cabinet. So, um, so this was my last VCS haul of 2017. I will be purchasing, I am going to skip December and January's restocks. And I'm going to order in February if there's something I really want. Um, I have got a lot of wax. Um, I have been buying these stashes left and right. I'm getting a feel for what I like and what I don't like. And I think it's time to tone it down, um, save some money, do some fun things with my family instead of buying wax. So we are, December and January are going to be completely clean months. I'm not going to purchase from any vendor. Um, I will be, I, I will be saving up for the February, February restock. Um, cause usually I'm, my goal is to be on a band till Valentine's day. 
And Kirby usually does her restocks right smack dab in the middle of the month. Um, like October's was on the 19th, November's was on the 16th. So I'm assuming it'll be around that time. So hopefully Valentine's Day, you know, it'll be around that time so I can fully ban until Valentine's Day. But I will be breaking my ban if her restock is a day or two before Valentine's Day. Just cause. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well on getting through stuff, but I have to stop buying. If I'm going to actually put a dent in my stash, I have to stop buying. So I've got a full drawer of VCS, plus I have a cabinet that has a bunch of cut up loaves, a bunch of blossom bags, and some whole loaves. So I think that's plenty to get me through for a while. Um, I was trying to load up on some older VCS so I could let these cure and I've accomplished that. So now I think it's time to tone it down a little. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.